Okay, so uh, we've got a little project to get completed for a friend uh, before we get on to the next um, <clears throat> major restoration, which is either going to be um, the finishing the <clears throat> GSXR 86 GSXR uh, 1100 here, which basically all the parts components for it were restored, but the engine was um, in need of a top end rebuild and um, it kind of just got put on the back burner while we did a couple of other projects. Uh, I've also got the uh, YZR500 project. So between those two, we're probably going to run those two in parallel um, <clears throat> on the channel, which will be, you know, make for some interesting content. But um, yeah, right now I just want to get this out. Uh, this is an RS50, uh, Aprilia RS50, um, actually featured on the channel. We did a ride along with it a while back. Very cool little bike. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is actually prep this. The uh, client is going to be selling the bike. Um, so we're going to prep it for auction and basically just give it a cosmetic makeover. So bike... Uh, fundamentally is very sound engine is awesome on it it's got an upgraded carb um clients really got it dialed in now and runs great um so what we're going to do you can see here had a bit of a tip over nothing crazy um <clears throat> so i'm going to repair the cowl that little bit of paint damage there you can also see here on the side cowl on the same side the damage that was caused by that tip over so we're going to repair that and generally just go over the whole bike and give it a cosmetic makeover so i'll probably end up uh painting the expansion chamber um i'll strip all the bodywork off uh, we're going to be replacing most if not all the decals they're faded in the sun as you can see here uh, and some of them have a little bit of damage um so we'll pull all the bodywork off um and then i'll do full where there's repairs needed i'll do i'll repaint try to keep it uh factory um and then all the other panels will just do paint correction so i'm hoping with the tank like we've done on some of the other projects we can just cut that uh the original clear coat back a little bit and then uh, just buff it up um there might be a few areas i can see here that maybe just decal damage hopefully so we it, the tank looks good we don't have to do anything major there um yeah so i will do paint correction on all the panels even the ones that uh, i'm not repainting um so we'll make it look um yeah make it look like new and while we've got the all the panels off and fairings off uh, obviously I'll go through the entire bike give it a good detail you know and if we see anything that's missing or needs replacing we'll do it but uh, largely I think um, it's all there so it'll be a fun little project probably just uh, a couple of videos maybe two or three videos on the channel I do need to kind of turn this around pretty quickly because uh, we do want to get it up for auction so we won't be able to take too much time with the videos. But anyway, I'll cover that. Um, so the yeah next step is we'll get the 748 off the bike lift. Um, and then we'll put the RS50 on there. It'll be easier just for me to work on it when it's on the bike lift. Um, yeah, so that'll be the next uh, the next thing. So I'll... Uh, I'll bring you back when the bike's up on the lift and we're ready to start removing all the bodywork. Okay, so we're up on the lift. So what I'm going to do now is just go around the bike and uh, photograph everything, the usual protocol. Um, make sure I've got to uh, photograph all the fasteners, where they go, the different types and so on. And then, uh, yeah, at the same time, I'll start uh, stripping everything off. And uh, so what I'll do, I'll put you on uh, time lapse for that. Um, yeah, and then once we've got all the bodywork off, 
I'll go through, inspect everything, and we'll make a list of the work that uh, needs to be done. As I've stated in my previous videos, taking photos of every part of the bike before you disassemble is one of the most important steps in a restoration. Whether it's to identify problems, missing components or non-standard components that need to be replaced, or being able to refer back to them to ensure correct reassembly of the bike. This is the case whether the project is going to take several months or years to complete. Photos taken, it's now time to start the teardown. Okay, so we have the bike stripped down as far as I want to take it for now. Um, so I've dropped, taken off all the parts which are probably going to have to be um, worked on. I've got the expansion chamber off. Uh, this is a nice Leo Vance chamber. Um, but it has rusted at the header, not unusual. So I'll end up probably um de-rusting this and then we'll see if maybe just a polish will work uh try to keep as much of try to keep it in its original um finish or we just paint it whatever's really the simplest there but yeah got the tank off um all the tail unit off the lowers were already off the bike so yeah um so generally I think all we need to do with the bike at this stage is give it a good detail. So, you know, I'll take, take a couple of hours. We'll go through, clean everything, get in everywhere we can while we've got the bodywork off. But I hopefully, um, I, other than maybe just drop the caliper off to clean everything, that's as far as I want to strip the bike back. Uh, you can see in here, there's going to be a lot of cleaning around. The swing arm I may drop may have to drop the back wheel off really to get at the swing arm properly and detail it so probably the back wheel will come out at some point but yeah and then here you can see uh, the bodywork itself so I'll kind of just take you through what we're going to be doing there in general it's all good condition there's no uh, major no cracks or at least major cracks or anything like that so uh, I haven't got to do any major body uh, repair. There's, like we said already on this side, um, there's some scratches here and gouges on, on, on the um, 
side panel as well where the bike went was tipped over so what i'll do there is um i'll remove all these damaged decals they're not actually more like stickers actually on this bike but yeah that's that's the main um bodywork the rest of it front fender um tank and the rear seat unit and this side panel the left side panel i'm hoping don't have to do any paint if i'm doing any paint touch up it's minor little touch ups yeah and then there's some plastics which are natural i.e colored uh, plastic not painted so there's the red there and there's these grayish side covers here um so obviously those we want to try to keep they're scuffed we want to try and keep the natural finish and not have to paint them so that'll be a little bit challenging what i'm hoping is i can actually just polish these out um so the red we're gonna have to, the red has uh oxidized which is typical with that type of plastic it's the same plastic as you get on dirt bikes it oxidizes um and it's so it's got that kind of talcum powder surface white uh discoloring so what we'll do there is a couple of techniques for that there's one using a hot air gun uh, where we can recover that plastic um and there's a couple of others so when we come to that i'll actually you know do a just a little um section in the video specifically on that and hopefully we can recover that part like i said i don't want to have to paint it yep so that's that um so i think now i'll put you on time lapse why we uh think first thing i want to do is clean the bike that way when i'm working on it it's all nice clean environment to work on uh, especially as i start putting the body panels back on so let's do that and i'll put you on time lapse So I've uh, gone around and detailed everything so you can see now it's all nice and clean internally inside the swing arm yeah so with the bike all cleaned up now Um, what I'm going to do is start to reassemble the bits I can. So, um, yeah, I'll put the back wheel in. Um, I'll probably, I might have to do some touch up on the wheels. I'll take them back out again if I need to. But I think right now I'll reassemble everything back what I can. Um, and that really, that just leaves then the bodywork. So there are a few little bits I need to order. I've just made a list. Um, so I need a battery strap. A um, couple of other little things as well. Just to kind of finish it up and tidy it off. A couple of fasteners. Uh, but not much really. It's a pretty short list. So I'll get those ordered. Um, and hopefully they'll come in before we do the, uh, the final assembly. So yeah, I'll uh, put you on time lapse while I put uh, everything back on, other than the bodywork, and then uh, next time I speak to you is probably when we start the bodywork itself. At this stage, the client and I reassessed the project and decided to increase the scope of the restoration to include a fabrication of a remote choke lever 
as the local one on the upgraded car cannot be operated without feeling for it under the tank. The Cerakote, all the fairing brackets and rear foot peg mounts, which have some surface rust, and to completely revise our approach to restoring the fairings. So we'll have to cut this video short at this point, but with the bonus of more content in the next RS50 videos to come. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel.